I mean, he was a very remarkable man, a, a truly remarkable man. Uh, he, he wasn't very tall, but he liked standing on his tiptoes and telling people what to do. Uh, at golf, he was a wonderful partner because he was meticulous. He was a very, very interesting man. And the nice thing about Ronnie, of course, he was very lovable. People loved him. And he was also the, that old-fashioned family entertainer. You would sit down with him and his partner and you'd be guaranteed for an hour you had wonderful family entertainment with everybody joining in. It was greatly missed, and I, I'm so unutterably sad today because I really loved him. He was a very good comedy actor, actually. Apart from all else, his instinct was to be a comedian, a funny man. But he was a he was a proud man too. You know, he didn't want to be so red nosed and all that sort of stuff. He was better than that. He was a he was a very bright, intelligent man. And his lovely, lovely relationship with Annie, his wife, for many, many years will be distraught now, as as we all are. I mean, greatly, greatly missed in in the. When you look back on that so-called golden era of television, he has his own place there. Of that there is no doubt. And, and uh, he'd be greatly, greatly missed. I still miss him terribly. Yeah, he, he was a meticulous man. I mean, he believed that fame had its uh, price in a sense and that there's no good being famous in London unless you give something back. And he gave that back unerringly and, and generously. And my lasting memory of him, of course, is one that we used to laugh about all the time, was when we did that wonderful uh, video for Peter Kay, Amarillo, where he, <laughs> he, he managed to fall off the running machine we are on and shot past me horizontally, hitting the wall on the way, and then got up and finished. I mean, that was the way he was, you know. He was shaken, uh, but he, was, he went back and, uh, and finished the job. But we were in stitches. We were just, uh, we couldn't work for laughing.